1,400 even, 113, 113. Didn't I just say that? Uh-huh. Oh, that's right. It's down here twice. Okay, 113, 927.8. That it? Yep, that's it. You want to do it this time? No, it's okay. It's all yours. Go on. Well? 327, 625.19. Ooh, Michael. We've gone through it four times. Keeps coming up the same. At least their arithmetic was right. I think if we went over it again, we'd find a discrepancy. Just one little dis... So, we scratch the whole damn thing and start over. What time is it? A little before six. I suppose it's too late to fire somebody, isn't it? Make me feel a lot better. I hate this. I hate budgets and figures. What on earth did you ever want to be an accountant for? I don't know. At the time, it seemed like a big deal. I guess I never thought I could be much more. You were wrong. I'm starting to realize that. Thank you. We better get back to work. Can we take just a little break, huh? My head has all these figures and fractions clanking around in it, which is not very nice because I'm used to words, which have a tendency to float intercranially. Or if they do bounce, at least you know that somehow, some way, you're going to get them into a nice, logical little sequence. You think I'm nuts, don't you? No. I was just realizing I understood everything you said, which sort of surprised me. I think we could both use a little air. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, I think this is my favorite time of day. I can just look out over the city, see all the lights coming on, offices emptying, people starting their lives. Leaving their work behind them. Everybody except you and me, of course. Funny thing about cities, isn't it? They don't really sleep. That's a beginning. It must be incredible. What? You. Being who you are. Knowing how many lives out there you touch. Or control. Must be an incredible feeling. Yeah, must be. You're cold. Yeah, a little. Do you want me to go inside and get your sweater? No, thank you. I'm fine just the way I am. Hello? You uh, alone? As a matter of fact. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes. May I come in? Discover all my children on SoapNet. Angie Hubbard, she's noble. It's not that I don't want to make love. I just can't go through with it until I'm married. Please, Jesse, say you understand. You know I understand, baby. I understand. If you thought Angie was noble then... Wait till you see me in 2010. This is about wanting to do this job ethically, humanely. You do what is right. That's why I love you. All My Children, weekdays on ABC, weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. 
If it's a political scandal, the truth is going to come out. A reality showdown. I'm a little touchy on that topic. Or Tiger's wild ride. The story gets more interesting. You can bet it'll end up at the table of the view. You got to go for it. Whether it's pop culture, politics, entertainment, or hot topics. What about a little common sense? It's not over till the co-hosts have their say. If he were here, this is what I would do. Join the conversation. The View, weekdays only on ABC. Did I take my pill this morning? There's birth control you don't have to think about taking every day or even every year. I can't even think about having another child. It's Mirena, a small intrauterine contraceptive that's over 99% effective at preventing pregnancy for as long as you want, for up to five years. Once it's removed, you can try to get pregnant right away. Or not. Don't use Mirena if you have a pelvic infection, get infections easily, or have certain cancers. Less than 1% of users get a serious infection called pelvic inflammatory disease. If you have persistent pelvic or stomach pain, or if Mirena comes out, tell your healthcare provider. If it comes out, use backup birth control. Mirena may attach to or go through the uterine wall and cause other problems. Although uncommon, pregnancy while using Mirena can be life-threatening and may result in loss of pregnancy or fertility. Ovarian cysts may occur but usually disappear. Bleeding and spotting may increase at first and continue to be irregular. Periods over time may become shorter, lighter, or even stop. Mirena does not protect against HIV or STDs. Oh, I think two's plenty. Maybe. Ask about Mirena when you have time. Did you know? If you choose Mirena to prevent pregnancy, it's the only birth control also approved to treat heavy menstrual bleeding. Applying lip balm over and over probably isn't giving results you want. Discover Neosporin Lip Health, shown to restore visibly healthier lips in just three days. Neosporin Lip Health. Rethink your lip care. Mmm. Well, hi there, baby. You know you want me. I'm so rich and chocolatey. Good thing you've got Special K Chocolatey Delight Cereal. With ice cold milk, it's the so chocolatey, so satisfying, lower calorie snack that gets you your chocolatey fix without undoing your day. So long, late night cravings. Come on, baby. Don't eat. Hello, Special K Chocolatey Delight. Thank you. How are you? All right. Tired? I'd offer you some coffee, but there's nothing in the house. It's okay. Tried going out earlier, but there are three photographers camped out across the street. If there's anything you need. No. I can't. I won't let them do this to me. I'll go out later. The offer stands. Yeah. Before anything else, I want to explain this article. You don't have to. Yeah, I do. I did it because I figured you'd get a fair deal from me and anybody else. Besides, it's my work. But by the time they got through with the rewrites, all that was left was my byline. This isn't the story I wrote. Ray? Probably. I went to her. Of course, she said no. I tried to check it out. Talked to a couple guys in rewrite. They swore that she had nothing to do with it. They were lying, but there's no way to prove it. I'm protected on my own column, but this is considered straight news. I'm sorry about the whole business. I thought it was something like that. I know you couldn't do it. Almost qualifies as prejudicial publicity. Not quite, though. Ray was careful about that. Still, maybe I could use it for my defense. I don't know. Worth a try. Maybe. I'm sorry about it, Ken. I uh, met him a couple of times, heard his music. Thank you. I'm sorry. Want to talk about it? I can't. Off the record. I can't discuss this with you or with anyone else. Everything is off the record. I'm here as a friend. That's it. I can't. I won't. OK. What about an attorney? I know you defended yourself at the hearing, but have you found someone to uh, take your defense? I do it myself. That's not a very good idea. Maybe not. We'll see. Well, then I have to tell you, because I know you, and as your friend, 
I do not believe that you're going to be able or willing to conduct the kind of defense that's going to get you an acquittal. Meaning? Jill, I know you. You won't plead temporary insanity. No, I won't. I wasn't insane. Jill. Leave it. Please. Please. Now, may I ask you a question? Sure. Does Maeve really believe that I'm guilty? How can she believe anything else? Daddy's home. Remember what you have to do? No, what? We wanted to ask him to go trick-or-treating with us, remember? Oh, yeah. And we're gonna get all dressed up and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna go together, right? So go on, ask him. Can you? I'm drawing. Well, I could, but it'd be a lot nicer if you did, okay? You can tell him it was your idea. But it wasn't. But you can tell him it was. But that's lying. No, it's not. It's pretending. Okay, just ask him to go. Don't tell him whose idea it was, but just remember, tell him we want to go together, all right? Go on. Oh, honey, honey, you better leave that here, okay? I'm going to shoot that in my picture. Well, we'll show it to him later, all right? Okay. Uh-oh, there he is. Hey, Jono, how are you? Okay, can you come trick-or-treating with me? Trick-or-treating, huh? Yes, you, me, and Mommy could all get dressed up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while, but I'm sure we can... Yeah, we can go trick-or-treating. You have to ask your mother, though. She'll come. That's a splendid idea. Uh, is that old costume box still around? Oh, sure. You never know me to throw anything out. It's downstairs in the basement. Uh, Maybe a little small for you, some of those things, dear, but I'm sure you'll manage. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. What's new? Well, John just invited us to go out trick-or-treating with him. He did? Mm -hmm. What a surprise. Won't well, that be fun? You know, I remember when your daddy and Bobby used to take me trick-or-treating when I was little. <laughs> I was never very good at making my costumes, though. I'll have to do better about that this year. What about you? What do you want to be? Scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that mask you have on now is pretty scary. Let me see it. I'm not wearing a mask. Are you sure? Uh, looks see. pretty scary to me. Oh, now don't tease the child. <laughs> Oh, this neighborhood's gonna be in terrible trouble if three of you get together. Oh, yeah, we'll make some team. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Ah. Hi. Hi, Kate. Look, Miss Ian. What's going on? Am I interrupting a big conference? My boy here just invited us to go out trick or treating, right? He did? Mm hmm. Well, it looks like a pretty scary mask you have on now. We already did that joke. Uh. I used to love Halloween. It was one day of the year where I could dress up and be someone else. <laughs> that must have been a treat for you. <laughs> I think you're going to have a great time. Can you come with us? Well, thank you. I would love to. Little John, you shouldn't put Faith on the spot like that. She might be busy. No, I'm not. Well, we're all going to wear costumes. You might not be able to come up with something on such short notice. Oh, don't worry, Delia. I'm very resourceful. Terrific. This is going to turn into a real party. All right, let's see what we can put together in the costume box. OK, you know? <laughs> if they're under the shelf on, and near the back wall. All right, come on. Here we go. Here let's we go. go. Oh, 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 let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about costumes. Uh -huh. Hey, wait for me. This Wednesday. I got fired again. It's the last episode before the emotional season finale. What would make things better? A lottery ticket? And Erica's wildest dreams. <laughs> true. I could get used to this. But does getting what you want... Ever since you cashed in, you don't even try anymore. ...come at a price? What the hell's going on? You're gonna send me back to the real 2009. Well, who said that this isn't real? Being Erica. All new this Wednesday at 10, only on SoapNet. 
At SoapNet, everything is better in bed. Should I be getting dressed or are we going back to bed? <laughs> Every Saturday and Sunday, spend breakfast in bed. Sleep in, curl up, and check out with episodes of The OC, One Tree Hill, Beverly Hills 90210, and Gilmore Girls. You are not sleeping through this. Stay in, take out, break up, and make up as long as you do it in bed. Did you sleep with her? Well, yes. Breakfast. In bed every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on SoapNet. Your mouth is amazing. Did you know that 40% of tooth surface is hidden between teeth where interdental stains can form? That's why Aquafresh created Isoactive Whitening, a breakthrough gel that transforms into an active foam. It not only helps prevent cavities, it whitens 33% better between teeth. Whiten beyond toothpaste. Try triple protection Isoactive Whitening from Aquafresh. Amazing. Silky Smooth Dove Chocolate. Available with a rich creaminess of peanut butter. My moment, my dove. Who are better drivers, men or women? Men don't merge. The woman will sit there and wait. This is what men do. You see where I am over here? And kablam, and now we're all an hour late. Depend brand for women and men. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? Hi, Evelyn. I know it's been a difficult time since your mom passed away. Yeah, I miss her a lot, but I'm okay. Wow, that was fast. This is the check I've been waiting for. Mom had a guaranteed acceptance life insurance policy through the Colonial Pen Program, and this will really help with the cost of her final expenses. Is it affordable? It costs less than 35 cents a day. That's pretty affordable, huh? Are you between the ages of 50 and 85? For less than 35 cents a day, you can get guaranteed acceptance life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. You cannot be turned down because of your health. There are no health questions or medical exam. Your rate will never go up and your benefit will never go down due to age, guaranteed. Call about the Colonial Pen Program now. Call 1-800-378-3404 for your free information and a free gift or visit cpdirect.com. That's 1-800-378-3404. Call now. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. When the British government banned rock and roll from the radio. Oh, we're going to shut them down. One American DJ. Let's rock! And a band of misfits took their message to the street. Rock and roll! Rolling Stone Raves. It's a rip-roaring comedy. I intend to broadcast from this ship until the day I die. And then for a couple days after that. Pirate Radio. Available now on DirecTV Cinema before you can get it on DVD. Movies playing on channels 125 to 199. Maybe we should go back inside. Why? Feels like, like it might rain. It might. There's some clouds over there. Then again, it might not. Side. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, we're, we're going to discuss this calmly and rationally with all the words in nice, logical, neat sequences. Do you want me to do something? Such as? I don't know. You have an expression on your face like you're about to go into a board of directors meeting. Well, uh, then at least I'm in control. I didn't mean to do that to you. You didn't do anything, Michael. Now, what has happened is just something which I've been anticipating for quite a few days, probably longer. Really? Really. So have you. Be honest with me, Michael, as honest as I'm going to be with you. I always am. Good. What? Honestly? Yeah. I was just thinking how beautiful you are. And calmly and rationally, 
Um, I like you, Michael, very much. I like you, too. Well, that, that's good. That's very convenient because I enjoy your company and, and you are, um, you're, you're very bright and you're young and you're attractive and ambitious and, did I say bright? I think you did. Yeah. Well, I, I enjoy your company and, uh, as you know, I don't have any compunction at all about mixing business with pleasure, which does seem to be the way we're going at the moment and, uh, it certainly does. Yeah. I'm not in love with you, Michael. I didn't think you were. If you, uh, you think that my bed is away, since I, it's my bed we're discussing right now, if you think that that's, that's a way to, um, all power and prestige, you're mistaken. I want to be very clear about that, Michael. And uh, I really am aware, very aware of the difference in our ages. I'm not. Look, Michael, we both know that I am old enough to be your um, aunt. But since that has not made any difference in our relationship so far, I see no reason why it ought to start now. Neither do I. Okay. Anything you want to say? You already know it. Say it anyway. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Come on, Michael. Ah, uh, I'm being honest. You wanted me to. I can't say I'm in love with you. At least not in the way I've always thought about it. But I'm happy, probably more than I ever have been in my life. And it's because of you. I'm glad. Now, is there anything else you wanted to discuss? No, I think we've covered just about all the bases. Good. Well. Well. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children, only on SoapNet. Rediscover All My Children on SoapNet. Jesse Hubbard, he's loyal. I love you. I know, I have felt that every day. Live our dream. If you thought Jesse was loyal then. Wait till you see me in 2010. I made a big mistake. You are the best at what you do, and there is absolutely no need for you to be any more than what you already are. Don't you ever doubt that. All My Children, weekdays on ABC, weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. I mean nothing to this family. I don't want to see you anymore. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Relive Erica's greatest do-overs of the season. Can anybody say fierce? And prepare yourself. Dr. Tom, wait! For the shocking season finale. It's time, Erica. The Being Erica 4-Hour Catch-Up Marathon, next Sunday from 8 to midnight, only on SoapNet. If it's a political scandal, the truth is going to come out. A reality showdown. I'm a little touchy on that topic. Or Tiger's wild ride. The story gets more interesting. You can bet it'll end up at the table of the view. You got to go for it. Whether it's pop culture, politics, entertainment, or hot topics. What about a little common sense? It's not over till the co-hosts have their say. If he were here, this is what I would do. Join the conversation. The View, weekdays only on ABC. Every dog wants to be a Caesar dog for so many delicious reasons. Caesar, tempting entrees in a variety of flavors like prime rib. Caesar, love them back. Let's take a look.
look at the stats, Minnie has more than double the fiber in whole grain, making him a great contender in this bout against Mid-Morning Hunger. Honey Nut Cheerios is coming in a little short. <laughs> You've got more whole grain in your little finger. Let's get ready for breakfast! <laughs> Keeping you full and focused with more than double the fiber and whole grain in every tasty bite, trust them anyway. Didn't know I had it in me. Maeve? She. Oh. How are you, love? I'm all right. How are you? Oh. Roger told us about the healing. I'm sorry about all your troubles, and particularly the part that I played in them. No. I tried to keep from telling them anything, but I couldn't avoid it anymore once they got me under oath. Do you understand? Of course I do. I want to tell you that I'm, I'm sorry I put you in that position. I didn't realize, and I should have. I just turned and I ran. Oh, I'm just glad to have you home, even well, if that I does sound you strange. What if... Oh, let's go. Let's go. Hi. Hi, little John. How are you? We're going to the treaty. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Is Ken still sick, or can we go see him? Oh, honey, little John. Why don't you go downstairs and finish that drawing you were working on? We'll be right down, okay? Okay. Bye, Joe. Bye-bye, little John. Hi. Hello. I'm really sorry. Are you Thank okay? You. Yeah. You will be. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just came to talk to me. Well, we'll go downstairs. No, don't. Please. I don't want to ruin your Halloween. I can come back in the morning. Oh. Joe. If there is anything that I can do, I want you to know that. Thank you. But... I understand that you represented yourself at the arraignment this afternoon. Yeah, I did. It was fine. Was it? I just told you it was. Well, however it went today, and I do realize that under the circumstances, you might not want to commit yourself to a defense counsel. Well, I'm media. glad that you realized that. I was concerned about your opinion. I'm trying to talk to you, Joe. Well, say what you want. Well, maybe I better not. You're going to tell me that I should start looking for a good criminal lawyer. Of course you should. You know that. I'm representing myself. You're not serious. Oh, my sense of humor is a little off lately. I'm very serious. Jill, that's ridiculous. I didn't ask you. I don't need your advice or your opinion. Maybe what you need is a good shrink. That is the most idiotic, stupid thing I ever don't heard. Don't you dare. Why won't you admit that you need some help? You never could, could you? talking about here. I am telling you that don't tell me anything not anymore you had opportunity you had motive and you had intent you admitted to at least two witnesses that Ken could not have done it by himself you were found with a syringe in your hand you fought efforts to revive him and you ran away leaving my mother in one hell of a position I have just Wait, explained you... to me what I did well explain it to me I will explain nothing to you I don't know if you're running for district attorney or what's going on here, but I'm not going to stay around for it. You are not part of this, or in what I do, or in my life. Was I ever? Maybe I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Therapy is back in session. Friendships will be sacrificed. Love will be tested. And the rules have changed. For Erica Strange, fixing her life will affect the lives of everyone around her. Being Erica. All new Wednesday nights at 10 on SoapNet.